What's up Tech Gang, Stefan here from Tech Right. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 tips and tricks on your Android device that you guys probably did not know about. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, so I feel like a lot of people have their Android device and it may be getting stale or you may just want to optimize your productivity for whatever reason, but in this video I'm going to be showing you 10 tips and tricks that you guys need to know about your Android device. First tip is actually going to be in the dialer. Now this is a very, very cool trick. Now if you actually go into the dialer right here, you can actually call the previous caller just by pressing on the dial button right there. So all you have to do is click that, as you guys see the number pops up, and click it again to call. So if someone's called you, all you have to do is go ahead and click on the dialer to call that person right back. Very, very easy. Number two is going to be customizing your Gboard. Now, if you don't have Google Keyboard already on your Android device, I definitely recommend downloading it. There's already pre-downloaded on this device that I currently have, and I feel like most Android devices, if you're in America, you guys will have the Gboard. So what you're going to do is go into messaging and you're gonna be in your keyboard right here. Now, you can customize so many different things from the Google keyboard that you guys don't even know. Um, one of my most favorite ones I'm just gonna go highlight right here is the theme. Now, you can actually choose different colors, so we're gonna go and choose red. We're gonna go ahead and apply that, and as you guys see, this pops up red. If we go back to settings, go into theme, we can actually add pictures. So maybe you have some really nice background of say San Francisco, or you have a background of somewhere you visited, or even just a picture of your kids or whatever. Anything you guys wanna use, you can actually use that as a Gboard background, as you guys see right there. So all you have to do, go ahead and apply that. You can go ahead and add your own themes, which I thought was really, really cool. And as you guys see right here, that is now our keyboard background. We can also add tons of different GIFs and things like that. As you guys see, we have some GIF packs right here. We have a chai and biscuit, best friends, a bunch of different packs right here. We can also set up Bitmoji if you guys have Snapchat and you guys can actually make a little version of yourself and use those as emojis. So that's another pretty cool option. There are also other features right here. Theme, one-handed mode, text editing, share Gboard, translate, floating keyboard. If you guys wanna go ahead and customize those, but I definitely recommend going and checking those out. All right, everyone, so our third tip on Android devices is going to be voice command. Now, most of the devices that you have, if they're Android, are going to be utilizing Google Assistant. So typically, Google Assistant is either a key on your phone or it's gonna be right here on the home button. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is hold the home button and basically tell Google Assistant what you wanna open. So we're going to go ahead and hold that right now. Open up YouTube. And it actually opens up the application right there, which I think is really, really cool. So if you guys want to save some time, definitely go ahead and check this out. Now, the fourth feature we're going to be talking about is double tapping for recents. So we have these applications right here. This is basically our application folder um, that holds all of our recents. Now, what you want to do is if you were on an application previous to this, instead of opening up those recents, what you can do is go ahead and double tap on this and it's going to take you to the last application. Double tap, double tap. So you guys don't have to really waste too much time. This increases productivity and it really just lets you open up more of the phone. All right, everyone, so our fifth tip is going to be split screen. And I know a lot of people have trouble with split screen nowadays and they don't think they have it on their device. Their Android software just updated and there's a different way to use it. So what you're gonna do is open up Recents right here and you're gonna have all your applications open up like this. What you're gonna wanna do is click on this bubble right here. Now in this situation, we are opening up YouTube and a video game. So we're gonna click on split screen and you're gonna go ahead and choose any other application that you guys wanna utilize at the same time. So we have Subway Surfers right here. So we have YouTube right here. We're gonna go ahead and open this video up right here. And we have Subway Surfers. So we can just go ahead and watch YouTube and play Subway Surfers. So if you guys wanna do two things at once, um, if you guys are those type of multitasking people, I am definitely not. Um, then you guys can go ahead and use this. All right, everyone, so our sixth tip, we're gonna be speeding up the animations on any of your Android devices. Um, typically, they are set to one times, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before, but what you're gonna wanna do to speed up the animations on your Android device is go into settings, and we're gonna scroll all the way down to about phone. We're gonna go ahead and click on about phone. We're gonna scroll down to where it says build number. We're gonna go ahead and click that multiple times. You're gonna go ahead and put in your password real quick. So it says you are now a developer. Then you're gonna scroll up to your search bar and type in developer options. You guys see those are open now, so let's go ahead and click on that right there. 
we're gonna scroll down to the animations now once we have all our animations we have window animation transition animation and animated duration scale we're gonna go ahead and set those all to 0.5 and as you guys notice it gets faster as I change these and you are going to have a much snappier device I feel like the one times definitely holds back of the device um, it gives it that unneeded you know excess of animation so I feel like most people should go ahead and set those 2.5 if you want to. You can actually turn them all the way off. If you just want to have the snappiest experience possible, you can go ahead and do that. Definitely recommend 0.5 though. Now the seventh tip is actually going to be screen pinning and a lot of people don't actually know we have this, but we're gonna wanna do is go into settings. You're going to go into the search and settings and go do screen pinning and that's actually gonna be under security. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, once we are here, it's actually gonna be set off. So what you wanna do is go ahead and turn that on. And you can actually turn on ask for a pin before unpinning um, in case you don't want anybody to see the current application that you're in or the state of the application. So we're gonna go ahead and show you an example. So we're gonna go back into that application. We're gonna to go to Subway. We have the option to pin now. We only had split screen and app info before. So we get a third option now. Go ahead and click pin. And all you have to do is long press both of these to unpin the screen but you can't even get out of this the person that's trying to you know use other applications and there you can't even get out of this screen so what you want to do to get out of that is hold this it's going to lock the screen and you actually have to put your pin in so if you want to use that as a safety feature definitely comes in handy all right everyone so the eighth tip i'm going to be showing you is under the drop down shade so we have the shade right here what a lot of people don't actually know is they can actually edit this and a lot of people were saying we didn't have dark mode on this phone when we actually did it was just hidden and we have all of these different utilities that are actually hidden inside of the settings and they're not shown to everybody so we have a few different modes currently on this particular phone um, but this is on every single android phone but we're going to go ahead and put that up there just as an example and you can also put focus mode bedtime mode um, but yeah, definitely go ahead and check your drop down edit because a lot of the applications you guys have been missing are actually in there and hidden in the settings. So definitely go check that out. Now our ninth tip is actually going to be inside the drop down shade still and that's going to be holding on utilities to see more information. So if you guys wanna change different settings on these utilities that you see on the drop down shade, all you have to do is actually hold down on them. So we have backlit power key right here. We're gonna go ahead and hold down on that. That gives us more settings and more information uh, to go ahead and customize that to your liking. We also have NFC, go ahead and hold on that. That gives you even more information. We also have, where's this cellular data? Go ahead and hold on that. That's gonna give you more info. So definitely go ahead and use that if you guys wanna see more about the current utility you're using or change their setting. All right, everyone, so this is my 10th tip I'm gonna be showing you, and I recommend you guys go ahead and download this. This is called Screenshot Assistant. It takes very, very little storage away from your phone. Just know that it's going to be only a couple megabytes. But what we're gonna do is open this application. And this is actually going to be a screenshot assistant. And this is a very, very good one. So we're going to go through here, click on next, and then click assist app preferences. And we're going to go ahead and click there and click on screenshot assistant. And I thought this was really cool. So people that share memes or share things all the time, maybe it's a news article. Um, this is a very, very efficient way of sharing screenshots. What we did was we actually switched the home button from Google Assistant to Screenshot Assistant. We're gonna go ahead and hold on that. It's gonna take a screenshot. You can go ahead and take your screenshot right there. You can go ahead and download it or right from the application, you can actually go ahead and click and share. So if you guys wanna share memes, videos, articles, definitely go ahead and utilize this. But yeah, guys, hopefully these tips and tricks did help you out. If you guys have any more tips and tricks, definitely help out people in the comment section down below. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments in the comment section down below as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video or it did help you, please leave a like down below as well. Subscribing if you're not a part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.